Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the video that a lot of you have been waiting for a new episode of Hall of Heartbreak Broken Hearted Scammers whinging on after they've been ghosted We left Frank James on the 28th of November He'd had at least five attempts to get money from Denise and I'm sure none of you have forgotten that amazing cruise itinerary When we left him they were talking on chat but what I didn't realise for a few days was that over on Facebook, our man kept going. Good evening, sweetheart. How are you doing today, he said, and tried calling her several times. Denise thought she'd try calling him back, but he didn't answer. Sorry, I missed your call, he said. Can I call you now? And he tried calling her, but she wasn't there. Then he sent her a rather pensive photo. Sweetheart? Hi! Then he tried calling her again. We're into December now. Hello! Sweetheart! Happy New Month and a Merry Christmas in advance. Why do you hate me this much? I'm talking to you! He tried calling her again. Good morning, sweetheart! And then he tried calling her again. And Denise was there, because I was laid up with a horrid cold. And this is what happened. Hello, baby. Good morning to you. Can you hear me? Like, sweetheart, I'm so I'm so sorry. I don't know why you don't want to talk to me anymore. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know why. Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me now. I'm sure many of you remember the story of Prince Matthias. I think there were six episodes of his story and he spoke to almost all of my girls. In the last few episodes, he was talking to Flora, who was a new character then, created because I was doing some research for the books that I was writing. He was on an oil rig. That'll be unusual. Not. And also, he was geographically challenged. He thought he was in Rennes in France which he thought was surrounded by sea. At one point, I think he thought he was in the Pacific, and all he needed was a $500 steam card from Flora so he could phone the United Nations and ask for his leave. Flora ghosted him, and he wasn't happy. He repeatedly kept trying to call her. After the last video ended, he messaged her again. For my loved ones, this day I seek the blessings for my loved ones, for all the people who have helped me, for everyone who have made me smile, for everyone who gave their time, for those who stood beside me in life, and for those who laugh with me. Bless everyone, thy Lord, is my pleas to you, so that their life be more wonderful too. Help them to ease their pain away, and let them stay happy all the way. Bless my family and my friends. O oh, Almighty, is my prayer. I pray that you remain in good healthy condition. And he sent her lots and lots and lots of roses and lots of crying faces. Sweetie, is everything all right with you? And then he tried calling her. And as usual, Flora answered him, but didn't speak. Wait to her. Why are you not talking or replying my messages, he said. He tried calling her again. Hello, how are you doing today, sweetie, he said. And then he tried calling her again. Hello, good morning. And then he called her again. Hello. Hello. Hello, honey. Why, why are you not talking to me? What's wrong? Why are you keeping quiet? Hello? You seem to amaze me of your sudden silence, he said, and the call ended. Well, it's really hurting when you seize my message and tends not to reply back. He tried calling her again. My love! You are my world. Can't think about a day without you. You make my world new. Please come back. I don't feel good without you. Thinking about you now 
and he sent her some roses and crying faces. Flora, please kindly reply this message if you're still alive. Sound healthy, he said, and tried calling her again. This was on the 24th of April. He tried again on the 26th of April. And then on the 10th of June, he said, Hello, Flora, how are you doing today? He tried calling her on the 19th of June and on the 20th of June, but she ignored him. Prince Matthias had staying power. Having tried to call her several times on the 26th of June, he disappeared for a few weeks. He came back on the 11th of July and tried calling her again. She ignored him. He came back on the 27th of July. Good morning, Flora. How are you doing? And on the 31st of July, I still love you with all my heart. On August the 2nd, hi, sweetie. He disappeared for another month and came back on September the 4th. Work has been so stressful. I'm working tirelessly to finish up this project so I can leave her at once and go home. And then on the 23rd of November, good morning, Flora. How are you doing today? I wonder how long he'll carry on for. It's currently the 7th of January. I'm sure no one that watched Muftar Muftar's video has forgotten him. At the end of that video, I said he disappeared into the ether from whence he came. That was on the 20th of October. He reappeared four weeks later on the 18th of November. Hi, I, I, I like you, he said. To which Denise, of course, replied, Lo, ho, 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 come. Lie, I, 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 like you, he said. Kai, 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 call me, replied Denise. A man sent that referee with his thumbs up. He disappeared for 12 days, came back on the 30th of November and sent another referee with a thumbs up, followed by one of those jumping dog things with hearts, followed on the 14th of December, that's the Wednesday in this screenshot, by another jumping dog with hearts. And I know you're all just as disappointed as I am that there was no cat farting hearts. But don't worry, Muftar continued after I'd made this little bit of the video. So here's some more Muftar. No, so far, no cat farting hearts. But he's got a good one coming up after the dogs bouncing up and down with hearts. He sent a cute little baby. Followed by, I ought to know who those are meant to represent, but I don't, a man and a woman. Is it Harlequin and Columbine? I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments down below, please. Followed by a lovely emoji of somebody being sick. Exactly the sort of thing that's going to endear you to the love of your life. Followed by a bunch of roses. Followed by two lots of doves with hearts, obviously. Xiao Shang Hu, a doctor in Israel also struggled with rejection. A lot of it I put into episode two, because once Persephone had ghosted him, he carried on. I thought he'd disappeared, but I was wrong, because he continued. At the end of episode two, we left him saying to Persephone, seems you don't want to talk to me. It's quite obvious. Hello, dear, he said on the 15th of October. I miss chatting with you. How are you doing today? When you smile for no apparent reason while you think about someone, then, no doubt, you're in love. I'm waiting and hoping and wishing for the time when we can be together again, thinking of you every second. Hello, sweetheart. Good morning, honey. How was your night? Then he disappeared for a while. He came back on November the 12th. Hello. Hello, dear. He said on the 28th of November, I miss chatting with you. Good morning, dear. How was your night? He said on the 2nd of December. Hello, dear. How are you doing today? I want us to discuss this. It's important, he said on the 16th of December. Noah Smith was a recent video. At the end of it, I tried reporting the account of the money mule to Lloyd's bank. We'd gone round in circles where they'd asked me to send lots of screenshots on Facebook and then told me that they couldn't pass those details to their fraud department. I'd tried emailing the email address they gave me, but that told me that it was only for reporting suspicious emails. So I tried phoning them after I'd finished the video and I spoke to a lady 
who told me that she didn't know what a money mill was. I had a brief conversation with their fraud department as well, but basically I gave up. We left our man, saying to Annie, Talk to me here, my beautiful. Hello, my beautiful. Have you sent it? My love, why are you not answering me here? I'm waiting for you here, because I've got all my things ready here, my love. He tried calling her. Hello, my beautiful. What's wrong? He said that evening. I've closed from my job, and now I'm in my room. Why you never care to reply my message to me here? Hello? He tried calling her again. Have you sent the money now? And how was your day? Why are you finding it hard to just remember? Please? He tried calling her again. You read all my message, but no reply. Before, you used to talk with me well, but now you just don't care. Are you not the one who me that you're going to send it? I just don't like when someone is playing with me here. Why are you just being silent over there? I've got your mind login ready. Oh, well, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Watch out. And I'm waiting for you right now. You keep reading my message, but you never care to reply back to me. Joe online, you read my message, but I don't talk to me. Are you talking with someone else? Well, what's the matter? My beautiful, by now... We both would have been together there, by for us to enjoy ourselves together. The following morning. Good morning, my beautiful. How was your night? Hope you slept very well there. Here's your morning coffee. He tried calling her. Are you still there? My love, what is going on? If you know you don't have the money, why can't you just open up to me and let me know that the one you let me to me putting my hope in you by now we go to the beach together. And I and I would like to take you out for the Christmas shopping and take care of you and your family by now, but would have to go to the agent to make the payment for the house. Why can't you just do the needful so I can be with you in the next few hours? In the next few hours, the shopper is going to land me in your state. Please, you have to talk to me because I'm getting worried right now. Hello, my beautiful. What is really going on? You still don't want to talk to me here? Good morning, my beautiful, he said the next day. How was your night? Today is 23rd of the month. Are you happy that I'm here alone? You're enjoying yourself there. By now, we would be together there. But I see no reason why you don't want us together. Hello, my beautiful. Today's Friday and Christmas is on Sunday. Are you happy that I'm still here? You gave me hope and fail me. If you know you don't have the money, you can help me to get the iTunes card. £200 for me to call my bank so that I can transfer the money to the company. Please, it hurt me here that you're doing this to me, because I never asked for help, and this is the first time I've asked for help. You saw how much I have in my account, and still you're acting this way to me. It's not right. I don't want to spend the Christmas here, OK? Please, just help me out, or get me the steam card for me to call my bank myself, since you never talk with me. Talk to me here. I'm failing sick here, my love. Open up and talk to me. What's the matter? My son is waiting for me at home and I don't want him to spend the Christmas alone. I was planning that as soon as we both are together, I'm going to book for my son flight for him to join us here and spend the Christmas together. You're a woman and you have a mother feeling. Hope you know what it's going to take when a child spend his Christmas alone by himself. Hello, my beautiful, he said on Christmas Eve. My beautiful love, do you know the pain that my son is going through there? He's mad at me because he's spending the Christmas alone. Please, my beautiful, if you can't help with the money, just get me the iTunes card so I can use to call my bank myself here. Please, please, just help me out with this card. Please, my beautiful. And right here is a good example of why you should block someone and not ghost them as I do because they will try as much emotional blackmail as they think it's going to take to draw you back into their scam. Noah Smith still hadn't finished. Hello, my beautiful, he said on the 24th of December. My beautiful love, do you know the pain that my son is going there? He's mad at me because he's spending the Christmas alone. Please, my beautiful, if you can't help with the money, just get me the iTunes card so I can use to call my bank myself here. Please, please. Just help me out with this card, please, my beautiful. Unsurprisingly, Annie had better things to do. It was Christmas.
He disappeared too for a week, but he was back on the 5th of January. Happy New Year to you, my beautiful. How are you doing today? So it's like you've forgot me here. You never care to wish me Happy New Year. No, she didn't, mate. Sorry. Hello, he said the next day. Why are you not talking, talking with me here? My beautiful, this is New Year. Can you just talk to me here? You kept reading my message, but you can't say a word. Is this how you are to me here? And of course, once they've been ghosted, I always tap on their messages so they can see they've been read. It drives them nuts. David Bryant told Cassandra that he was a gem dealer. He'd been to an auction in Dubai. And of course, he needed Cassandra to pay for all those non-existent export taxes. He was ghosted. But he carried on, both on chat and on Facebook. How are you, dear? He said on chat on the 18th of September. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, darling. Why are you doing to me? Are you playing games with me? You told me you'll make the payment, and all you needed was the ratios to make payment. Good evening, baby. How was your day? Hello, dear. Hello. This was the 22nd of November. Good morning. On the 3rd of December, on chat. Meanwhile, over on Facebook, he started on the 18th of September. Hey, babe. Good morning, baby. How are you? I haven't gotten a reply from you. And he tried calling her. Sweetie, how's your day going? Let me know when you get the payment done. OK. He tried calling her three times. On the 19th of September. Why don't you want to talk? You aren't responding to my text or anything. What's wrong? He tried calling her on the 21st of September. Hi, baby. I'm very worried. Not hearing anything from you is putting me in a bad state. I've not been able to get my head straight for a while now. Please say something. I need to know you're all right, at least, and doing well. I need to talk to you. I need you in my life. Please, baby, please. Good morning, dear. I tried calling her again. We're up to the 26th of September now. Hello, baby. I'm sorry if I've offered you in any way, but this punishment you're dishing out on me is just too much to handle. It's been one good weekend now, and I haven't heard anything from you. Please talk to me. What's going on? He tried calling her twice more. We got to the 5th of October. Hello. 21st of October. Hello there. Hi, dear. How are you doing? He said on the 29th of December. I haven't heard from him since, and at the moment it's the 7th of January. If he does contact Cassandra again, I might re-engage with him and see what happens. Perhaps tell him that one of her friends told her that he was a scammer. I think I called Raymond Jackson the world's most ridiculous scammer. He needed Annie to pay for a card from the Netherlands government, and Annie told him that she'd get it for him, but that she was waiting for the captain Jean-Luc Picard to arrive so that he could drive the spaceship. When he asked her how long it would take, she said, Oh, probably in about two millennia time if the warp drive is working properly. OK, honey, he'd said at the end of the last video. Honey, I have to get back to work now. Message me when you're back. OK. Hello, honey. How are you doing? Hello, honey. Honey, how are you doing? I hope you're doing OK. Honey, why are you not responding? Is there anything the problem? You probably don't want to talk. Fine. Hello, honey. Honey, what's wrong? I hope you're okay over there. Honey, what's the matter? Good morning, honey. Honey, please talk to me, okay? I just want you to know I truly love you. Honey, why are you doing this to me? Is there anything wrong? Honey, cracked. This was two weeks later. The warp drive failed, she said. I might be a few millennia late. How are you doing? It's long time you text me. I hope you're doing great. How are you? Hello, honey. Hello, honey, he said a month later on the 22nd of December. Hello, since you decided not to talk to me. And then, finally, he disappeared. I hope you enjoyed this collection of broken-hearted scammers. If you did, you know what to do. Please like it. Please share it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again in another video.